This is June 2018, and I want to share about the know-how and principles which I found while I am studying about those uh, re those free energy uh, developments. Uh, the first motivation it was about Tariel Kapanazzi. About is it was about before 2010, and I found actually a little bit later than 2010. Uh, which was quite sensational for many people, including the people in the overunity.com. And then later, the, the web name Aqua and Ruslan came up with some advanced device, and they are sharing quite many, uh, many videos, uh, but uh, obviously, they are hiding something. That's why not many people are achieving as as they did. And then I found uh, the Fasmus and Chubnitze. The the information they are sharing is quite useful. So, uh, and then there is some some other people achieving this, but I doubt about it. The oxymoron has shared only one or two videos and uh, Denister uh, lately confessed that uh, he's not doing the free energy but looks like over unity and then Sergey is the one that tried to explain about this approach and then there are many followers of Sergey uh, but I doubt about that if he has really achieved the free energy as good as they did and the real problem that I have is that I'm not a Russian speaker at all. I don't understand the Russian language, even one sentence. So I had a hard time to understand their principles. Oh, especially I have no access to the, the Russian, uh, the over-unity community. And... So uh, it took me quite a long time to understand about the video with the help of some Russian translator. Uh, I think I've spent about 1,000 hours until now, which is, I started from 2015, to, uh, really making and researching about this approach. And yeah, so, and actually my degree is not far from the electronic engineering, so... Uh, so I had some background and then I spent 1,000 hours uh, until now. Oh, it could be a bit less. But anyway, uh, yes, I spent a long time to understand and then made a lot of mistakes as well. So what I have found, uh, what I have tried first was the, the this is a Russian way of uh, describing this Tesla tower. Uh, so optimizing the length of Tesla tower, which means, yes, the Tesla, if I write the Tesla coil like this way, so it depends on the what coil, extra coil you put, and the what kind of antenna coil you put, and then what kind of ground you put. It it makes all different uh, the, the maximum frequency, so I had to go back and forth and find out what it is and so on. And then optimizing the inductor, the length of inductor is the, the outer layer of the, the receiving coil. So the, the Russians like to say it's so inductor. And then there is another coil inside there is a bifilla people or granite, people like to say that. And then the, I, what I also tried was the optimizing the connection, which means which one connects to where, and then ground goes to where, and then how to connect here, where to put the load, and so on. Uh, yes, understanding about the video plus the going back and forth took me so many hours. So... I want to share. I I was just getting the help and understanding from from other people, which I'm really grateful. So I think I I have to share what I have found as well, uh, which is not that great until now. The 
the current between the Tesla tower and Earth here. Here gives the strongest and the most efficient output. So we have to work on this part here. And then so when I when I did just work on this without connecting anything extra, so work on this and I achieved 84%. Uh, the, the way how I did, I will come back. And then if when I connect this kind of receiving coil, the by feel like is underneath like that, and then connecting like that. I tried so many things. And uh, the, the efficiency that I have achieved is even more disappointing, 65%. Somebody may say it's, a, it's still quite good, but it's not over unity at all. But 84, 84% is quite sensational if I consider the radiation loss and the heat loss and so on. So I will come back to this point. And then what I found is LC resonance is different from quarter wave harmonics. Quarter wave harmonics is uh, the, the voltage swing has to be the maximum at the end or here. Because of the LC resonance, the C elements and then the air and then the earth is all C elements. Because of this LC resonance, it makes people quite uh, confusing with a uh, confused with a uh, quote wave harmonics. So we should be really extremely careful to uh, to uh, differentiate uh, between the LC resonance and quote wave harmonics, and then otherwise you will fall into some local maximum which was made by LC resonance. And then what I also found is uh, the earth frequency. What is the earth frequency? Is um, is what the what the um, the aqua is saying that you have the coil, and then one end is earth or ground, and at the other end, you can put some uh, some signal in there, and. Um, you can still read the signal, which is reflected back and forth, and then the oscilloscope can read the signal from the, uh, from the maximum resonance and so on. Yes, I've tried this kind of approach, and it's an important thing. The, the Aqua didn't say that it has to be by field coil. It's just a single coil, wouldn't work like that. So because of the LC resonance. But if you have the bifila coil, doesn't matter if it's the same direction or some, uh, uh, to, you know the, how to make the bifila coil. If you make the bifila coil, then you can find something what the aqua is saying. In that case, even you don't need this kind of input, you just put the oscilloscope and some earth ground has a strong a strong input to the coil and then you can read some uh, some signal like 1.7 megahertz or uh, three times of that or the low frequency which is between the 10 kilohertz to 90 kilohertz area the resonance some some resonance is coming without giving giving the input the waveforms quite look similar to the aqua uh, the video and what I want to share in this video it might be the most important it has to be by filler coil then you can see that signal and uh, another uh, great thing or curious thing I found was the switching or making spark makes a high voltage radiation when the, the time that I switch off switch on or sometimes make a, start making a spark at the time, the radiation, the, the the probe in in the air starts uh, making some ripples with a, showing the high radiation. So, I got to a conclusion that I have to make on off or making including the spark as well to make high voltage radiation. And another important thing that I want to share is this electrical ground. It's the main reason for trumpet-like radiation, which means 
the you put the electrical ground. Uh, electrical ground means uh, there is a primary coil and then uh, there is a the secondary coil. This connection, which makes uh, this kind of resonance as well. If you have this, then you will see the trumpet-like radiation, as uh, many uh, uh, these guys are saying. The, so that's quite important. Maybe these one, two, three, four things are equally important if you are really serious with this kind of development. So let me finish the first presentation here.